Hello, hello. Welcome to the Total Connector Show. I'm the host of the Total Connector Show and the Total Bitcoin Podcast Show. Now, there's a total global wealth as of 2019 of approximately $360 trillion plus minus. Now, if you, you know, uh, put that versus the absolute total scarcity of Bitcoin, which is 21 million in totality, which equals, which would equal because every Bitcoin equals 100 million Satoshis, that would equal a totality of 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis, the subunits of Bitcoin. Now, well, what I would uh, also talk about uh, and just uh, maybe touch upon because I'm waiting for a reply from the company, from this huge corporation company, Russian company, Russian corporation called uh, Polyus, um, which you probably have heard they have come up with a press release. Uh, let me uh, just, you know, just show you this uh, press release on their own website, which is called polyus.com. That's P O L Y U S. So I wrote to them asking, requesting an interview with, you know, a decision maker of the company, a CEO, somebody maybe even who could be even technically experienced or, or knowledgeable uh, about, you know, uh, uh, gold mining. Now, the point is that um, there's an area called Sukhoi Log. Um, or so-called like Maiden, uh, they have found the biggest, the largest gold reserves on this planet up to now, right? So uh, the current estimates are uh, approximately, no, it's actually pretty precise. It says that the estimated mineral resources for Sukhoi Lock stand at 1,110 million tons with an average grade of 1.9 gram per ton. I think the current uh, numbers is 2 point something, 2.1 gram, but you know, maybe that's the old, uh, old press release. It doesn't matter. So it contains 67 million ounces of gold as of May 31st, 2020. Now these are current estimates and they're going to do more analysis, more, um, more research uh, um, and so the it says here the exploration verification drilling throughout 2019 enabled an increase of the estimated indicated min mineral resource by 18 million ounces to 46 million ounces of gold so whatever the numbers is it's like huge right huge reserves huge gold reserves now as you know and i've already um talked about that in the German version of my uh, uh, sort of uh, total Bitcoin uh, recapitulation or reflection on my YouTube channel, Kevin Davani, the Total Connector, Total Bitcoin podcast show. Um, we have, uh, so we have, um, we have a total global wealth of 360 trillion uh, US dollars, right? We have approximately, as, as of now, a total supply, existing gold supply uh, on this planet, uh, you know, acquired um, um, in the, within the last 5,000 years. Uh, so that's approximately between 190,000 and 200,000 tons. We don't even know the exact number. It just it really uh, as much uh, as precise as it could get. But let's just say, let's just round it up to 200,000 tons of gold. Now, I just tweeted today as of uh, October 27, 2000. Uh, 20 um there's a there's a uh, yeah there's a total global wealth actually somebody uh, commented on my on my tweet i said that um these are you know official numbers uh, the world has um 46.8 million millionaires right so there are approximately 46 to 47 million millionaires around the world on this planet collectively owning let's just say uh, approximately 160 trillion US dollars. On top of that, on top of this, there are, according to Forbes or Forbes magazine, 2,153 billionaires. But the question remains how many trillionaires are there, right? 
There's just one thing set in stone. There are 21 million Bitcoin in totality set in stone, set in the source code, set in the you know original code by Satoshi Nakamoto. That's it. And that's a totality of 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis. So, you know, you can calculate as of now, uh, we got October 27th, uh, 2020, there are approximately, let's just say, 18.5 million Bitcoins of the total 21 million already mined. And by the year 2140, we will have not even to the fullest 21 million because there's not actually then 21 million. There's something like 20 million, 999 something, you know, uh, um, thousands something. All right. So I don't have the exact number, but uh, so uh, by the year 2030, approximately 2030, 2035, there will be um, approximately 99, 99, 98 to 99% of all Bitcoin already mined. So, so you can imagine, you know, the exponential stock to flow ratio, this, you know, the, the stock which already exists and the flow which comes yearly. So at this moment, as of now, of course, gold has the highest stock to flow ratio, which is approximately 58 to 63. That's the number you divide, you know, the stock divided by the flow and you get this number, right? So it takes approximately, let's just, you know, for the sake of simplicity, it takes a, approximately 60 years, you know, to mine the whole uh, existing supply or, 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 um, stock of gold which already exists which is approximately 200,000 ton and every year up to now as of now you know uh, there's a, a two a two percent inflation in gold so every year there comes two percent you know additional gold right so that's the flow so that's the stock to flow ratio you know so in the next few years especially after the next halving which going to be by the year 20 24, right? 2024, the stock to flow ratio in the next few years or uh, latest of, let's say, in the next four to five years, the stock to flow ratio of Bitcoin will supersede, will exceed, will supersede, shoot over, way over the stock to flow ratio. So it's going to go to, you know, uh, way beyond something. I don't know whether it's going to be 80, 100, and then actually it's going to go right into infinity, right? In the next decades and uh, let's just say centuries, all right? So it's going to be really uh, exciting and thrilling to you know, to, ex to, to experience this monetary, economical, social, technological, spiritual, and structural evolution in the years and decades to come. Don't forget, uh, there is only 21 million Bitcoin and every Bitcoin equals 100 million Satoshis. So 21 million Bitcoin. And do, do, not, do not forget that there are approximately estimated three to four million Bitcoin of the 21 million Bitcoin to be mined in totality until the year 2140. Three to four million Bitcoin have already been lost with their whatever. Uh, people have lost whatever their the wallets, the private keys, or, you know, it just, uh, uh, you know, just fade into oblivion or whatever, or people, you know, were sloppy or just didn't care about it, whatever. So you got lost, right? Three to four million of the total. So it doesn't matter, right? But the total su supply, the total supply in totality, absolute, with the absolute scarcity of 21 million Bitcoin is set in stone. And you can't do anything about it. And, you know, through the game theory, through the in incentivization game, through the, uh, you know, exponential by order of magnitude network effect, through, you know, the critical adoption rate of, you know, normal, you know, human beings. And, and uh, now as you've seen uh, institutions, companies, um, you know, the Treasury Reserves, uh, beginning whatever with, with its Paul Tudor Jones, Michael Saylor with his 20, $425 million, and now another exchange in UK, uh, uh, you know, uh, postulating that, you know, at least 10% of their 
of the fund should be in Bitcoin. And now more and more companies are either doing it covertly or overtly, you know, obviously, conspicuously, whatever, or, but they're definitely talking in the boardrooms. You can, uh, you, uh, I can only, you know, um, uh, refer you to the interviews that are talks uh, of Jeff Booth and Preston Pish and Raul Paul, you know, great macroeconomists, Raul Paul, but, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, like differentiating between shit coins and Bitcoin, and he, you know, he's still a believer in all his shit coinery that Ethereum is going to be, you know, the huge financial revolution, evolution in whatever in decades to come. I whatever, you know, so it's not only me saying that, but, you know, just side parenthesis. So we will see not only then millions and hundreds of millions, but soon we will have, you know, billions flowing into the market capitalization of Bitcoin through, uh, you know, other institutions, um, uh, private equity funds, um, uh, family offices, bigger ones, larger ones, smaller ones. And then we're talking huge, huge astronomical sums of money flowing into Bitcoin. And that is the pension funds, which are sitting approximately, I would say, between 40 to globally, worldwide. I, I know, it's a, you know it's a very vague number, but somewhere between 40 and up to 70 trillion US dollars assets under management. So once the stakeholders, once the, you know, the shareholders, the the owners, the pensioners, the retirees, you know, start asking, start urging their pension funds to, you know, to at least allocate a few percent, if not even 5, 10, 15, 20 percent as, you know, the shit hits the storm with exponential money printing, with exponential debt double a bubble. We've got, you know, the official number is $250 trillion of global debt. And now if you add all the unfunded liabilities, social security and everything else and the derivatives market, which is approximately by itself, 600 to 700 trillion US dollars, you get approximately, which is funny, I think, uh, approximately 2.1 quadrillion US dollars of global debt, right? Uh, so that's 250 dollars, uh, 200, I'm sorry, 250 trillion uh, of official like global debt, right? And and then you got unfunded liability, social security. So you got, you know, so the 2.1, what I find so funny is that the 2.1 quadrillion in totality with the unfunded liability derivatives equals the number of the total Satoshis, which is an absolute scarcity uh, of 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis, which, you know, equals the 21 million Bitcoin because every Bitcoin equals uh, 100 million Satoshis. So, um, we have uh, now. I'm going to show you some uh, some other um, news and updates. Let's go right into this article of um, decrypt.co. Uh, the title is Bitcoin dodges bear markets as U.S. stocks plummet. While there was blood on Wall Street yesterday, Bitcoin continued to defy skeptics, hold, holding steady at 13 thousand dollars it says here bitcoin continues its run of good form the majority of projects in the crypto space losses yesterday stock markets tumbled rapidly as hopes for u.s stimulus package evaporated so the essence of this whole article is that bitcoin you know is gained actually 0.52 percent continuing its week-long run that's seen the price of bitcoin grew uh, grow by 11.41 percent and um as Decrypt reported earlier this month, Fidelity Digital Assets, the cryptocurrency focused arm for Fidelity, concluded Bitcoin could be a useful resource for risk diversification precisely because it is not correlated with any other financial instrument. The subsequent boom in investment in Bitcoin has been called the microstrategy effect, you know, alluding to microstrategies, Michael Saylor, who invested for. $425 million into Bitcoin as the treasury res uh, reserves, as the cash uh, sort of uh, reserve. In reference to the business intelligence companies, $425 million investment in Bitcoin is a way of hedging against cash depreciation, which is a total serious problem right now. Now, another reason investors are excited about Bitcoin's potential is its low fees. As a whale proved yesterday in back-to-back -back transactions, 45,671 Bitcoin, that's, that's, that equals $602 million and, and 
43,185 Bitcoin, that's $570 million left a Xapo account to other wallets. That's over $1.1 billion in Bitcoin and all for a total transaction fee of ridiculously $3.54. The same transaction would be infeasible, impossible at a bank, at least for an individual, while an automatic clearinghouse transfer, which takes days to clear, would be free at most banks. Customers would face daily or monthly limits. I mean, just think about it. If you want to like transfer approximately, let's say, eighteen dollars to $20,000, uh, oh, oh, you, right, dollars to, to the United States, from, let's say from Europe to the United States, you know, right, to whatever, let's say a gold chase uh, a bank account, you would pay at least uh, 80 to 100 euros or dollars additionally, just transfer, right? I mean, so it's ridiculous. So what, you know, so uh, it's ridiculous, like paying a, a few dollars or euros for hundreds of millions or billions of dollars of Bitcoin, I mean, this is this is total evolution, right? It says here, even Chase Bank, which has a very generous policy among banks, limits users to sending no more than twenty-five thousand dollars per day, sending one thousand one hundred seventy. Oh, I'm sorry, sending one point one seven two billion dollars would take one hundred twenty-eight years, and that's assuming Chase decided to stay upon, uh, open on weekends. That's a lot of overtime. So. What is its whole article is about? It means that it's getting totally decoupled from the stock market, right? It's getting totally uh, decoupled from the bond market and everything else, right? So um, what does it say here? Um, right, so that's about it. And, um, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, total Bitcoin, total connector recapitulation reflection as of October 27th, 2020. Don't forget to stack sats every day, every minute, every week, every month. All right. Whether you, you know, you go into right into, you know, a lump, a lump sum because whatever the price, it just uh, fluctuated, you know, below whatever uh, an average price which you deem, you know, uh, reasonable to to invest, uh, you know, a larger a larger sum or you know a lump sum, but um, uh, you should definitely stack sets every day. Whether you do it, you know, auto DCA or you do it manually or through um, what is it called the uh, with it, through Swan Bitcoin, you know, please uh, use my uh, uh, reference link if you like to. That's Swan Bit Bitcoin dot com slash total Bitcoin, one word. You can also use the Delta Badger app, which is also in the show notes and plug it into your uh, as sort of as an API. It's really simple. Uh, just go on, uh, and use that. Use also my reference link, D Delta Badger slash uh, total Bitcoin. It's in the show notes. And you can also do that via Kraken, sort of as an API interface uh, is Delta Badger really easy. You just put in the amount, you know, monthly, weekly, daily or whatever, and just does, you know, uh, stack sats for you automatically. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, you know, there are other um, uh, platforms such as um, Amber, which is also going to come to Europe or it already started in Europe. Um, so it's really important that you just stack sats and you um, just forget about it. And when you see, you know, your price, uh, um, you know, getting dumped or, or you know, getting getting um, really to a to a you know to a level where you say, you know, this is a moment where you should, uh, if you have the money, you know, on the side that you can spare to invest to to save, then do that. You know, then you know, uh, uh, then put a larger amount into into Bitcoin. Now. Uh, thank you so much again. Please follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because this is the heart of my work. Subscribe to my podcast platform, anchor.fm slash Kayvon or go to any other podcast uh, platform, any other prominent uh, podcast platform. It's all in the show notes. Please write me a five-star positive review if you loved any, any, any episode, any of my shows. Follow me on Facebook, Telegram, LinkedIn, but mostly on Twitter and um, on my YouTube channel and on my podcast platform, my YouTube, my, my website is kevandavani.com or in short, the total connector 
www.thefilmproject.com. If you want to email me or you want to contribute, you want to help us uh, fund the film project we're working on, Human Life Rooted in Bitcoin, a documentary. First, we're going to start with a Bitcoin commercial, a Bitcoin trailer, and then a full total uh, Bitcoin uh, documentary, a movie, maybe even a motion picture after that. But we first need, you know, uh, something viral going on, uh, you know, a short uh, introduction, a short commercial, a trailer, a teaser, something like that. So if you want to get in touch with me, my email address is hello at thetotalconnector.com. And my DM is open. So thank you so much again for your support. If you want to you know, support me in any shape or form. I really appreciate any kind of support, any kind of feedback, any kind of suggestions, wishes that you want to send me. My name is Kevin Navani. I'm the host of the Total Connector Show and the Total Bitcoin Podcast Show. Thank you so much. And don't forget, stack sats because we are heading right into the exponential by order of magnitude, monetary, economical, social, scientific, technological, spiritual, and structural evolution on planet Earth. The toll connector says goodbye.